went to the art supply store and did a little picnic in the park kind of thing. And I got more this sexy paper. I actually got a big piece, 22 by 30, so that I can do like a canvas painting if I wanted to. And then I got uh, some neutral tone <laughs> Prismacolor pencils. I'm getting a little tired of using these little nubs. It's actually getting semi-impossible. We were just at the grocery store and look who is in town. Handsome Basil. I don't know if it's just around here, but it's really hard to find basil. Just like even like fresh or packaged or whatever. Like I don't know why it's so hard to kind of just find. Last year I got one of these and if you prune it right, I think you prune, um, I think you cut it here and then let these guys grow out and then you get double and you just keep doubling it. And I think last year we didn't get one of these until late summer. So um, it's totally worth it for $4. So like I can get seasons worth of fresh basil. But I have to get it out of this pot because as we learned last year, these pots, they, they tend to dry out too fast. Yeah, this was supposed to be water to leave out to like degas for certain plants. The um, pilea doesn't really like chlorinated water situation. So sometimes I'd leave buckets of water out, but it turns out the cat just loves to drink out of giant bucket. <laughs> So now we just fill this for her. Update on the dog commission. I'm sort of like, eh, about it. Um, mostly because it's sort of in that stage where it's kind of, eh. But I ended up having to use Arch's watercolor because I had run out of the other one. And I've noticed that it just bulges so much more. So I'm trying really hard with the tape, but I'm having difficulty gripping it there like there's a place here now that the uh, tape was lifted so every time i come by here i'm constantly reapplying tape and i don't really get that problem with the other one because it doesn't um it doesn't bulge that much and they're the same weight i think so it shouldn't be different but yeah it's coming along i'm really nervous about this one another thing is that they did some adjustments for the astrazeneca vaccine and so because john is turning 40 this year he has officially an appointment to get a vaccine so one of us is going to start getting vaccinated. And that's crazy to me because I was thinking like Canada is really slow. So we are looking at me like my age range was going to be like in June, like mid to end June. So not vlogging in any way or even really filming much um this week i've just been feeling kind of burnt out i guess that little bit of momentum was so um, interesting and exciting and i wasn't keeping up with things around it and as like a, as a result i sort of like put up little blockers i haven't been um, putting myself out there as much which is something like, like you need to keep up the momentum and keep putting yourself out there. But at the same time, I'm always afraid of over um, scheduling myself with things because I don't like being in debt to people. And that includes like owing someone a commission. So I haven't really been keeping up that momentum. I think like weather does a affect my my mind like and body a, a little bit when it's sunny i just always want to go outside and it's distracting and so i was excited about the rain because then it makes me just want to sit down and work so it's not like we've been having a lot of fun here <laughs> we're just um hanging out at home doing things i'm not really doing many things i did however get a little check from a magazine which i wasn't expecting i got a little bit of a payment for um, submitting my art to Room Magazine. So that's a nice little surprise. I know that that's like the way it should be, but normally like with little magazines like that, I usually don't really expect much. Most will just offer you like a free copy of something, which I am totally into. I'm into that. Um, as long as it's something that I don't have to do any extra work for. 
art that I already have to publish in a magazine. Okay. It's kind of frustrating though in the way that you know that they're going to sell the magazines and that's how they make the money. So like why should artists provide the entire content? That always kind of rubs me the wrong way. Um, but yeah, I, I was kind of just expecting it to be like that. Give you a free copy kind of thing. Beep beep. But yeah, I haven't really been into vlogging. Um, I'm kind of tired of the sneaky, shy method of vlogging that I do. Look at my hair. It's a bit dry. I haven't really been interested in doing much. Um, but I saw this thing about The Office, like the show, and about how Jim is supposed to be the worst character because of the way he... Um, interacts with the camera and does like the side eye like looking at the camera every time something crazy happens. Someone who needs approval from an audience. A lot of people do social media just to get the comments and stuff. I don't think that that's my intention and part of me it just kind of wants to stop and go back to those like videos <laughs> where it's just um, making something and it's just music playing in the background and some people like that but a lot of people don't really like that and but it was easy. I'm definitely finding myself just wanting to go back to the easy stuff. I need to record some kind of uh, audio to play over something that I make during a time where nothing's really happening for anybody right now. I think this is why TikTok is so popular. It's 30 seconds or so and I could see why an app like that would become popular to use. Not to watch. I don't understand. Here's where I'm at on the commission, it looks done. There was a sort of last minute request to change the size of the dogs. So I'm at this point where I'm not sure how to fix that, but I had an idea. I was a little bit disappointed uh, with the way that, you know, I like to have things that stick out <laughs> just because it looks really fun. But I feel like this is so limited. I would have liked to have more. It has to kind of make some kind of sense. And so this will give me the opportunity to redo the dogs on a separate piece, you know, with watercolor. I can't erase this. I can lift um, the color as much as possible, but I won't be able to paint on top of it because that destroys the sizing in the paper and will cause the watercolor to just bleed. But I could do the dogs again on a separate piece and then place them on top so that it's another... Um, section that is poking out. You know, it, it'll fight a little bit in terms of perspective, but I think that it would look more interesting. So it's possible that it kind of worked out for the best. So I wrapped this other wooden piece in um, watercolor paper. <laughs> I think that's more or less what I did with this one. I glued paper on before painting it, which might be kind of strange. Because if the glue doesn't hold, then it's going to buckle. I haven't done anything with this piece yet because I haven't really figured out what to do with it. And I haven't really thought about it. Because um, at first I was like, I'm going to remove these silly hangers and then just um, have them like this, which is cool. Um, but at the same time, like the hangers are also kind of cool. And that was the reason why I used resin. But we already established that these hooks don't really make the hanger function that functional. Maybe like an Ikea style hook where you push it in and slide it. Might If you can buy those separately, I might try that. Because then at least they would be more functional as a hanger. I was like, oh, I should do more of these, but now I'm just like, I don't know if I should do more of those. I kind of want to because they are kind of therapeutic, but I'm also at that like awkward situation where you make so much art and then you just have so much art and then you feel like, I don't want to make any more art and it's overwhelming. I'm in a slump right now where I can't get it out of me, but I also feel guilty about making anything. <laughs> 